you know when we are building a company uh, once my mentor told me that if you want to build a successful company then there has to be benchmarks then there has to be safeguards and then there has to be milestones and then there has to be goals i imbibed that in biotechnica in last 17 years and today i am here to tell you about the benchmarks the safeguards and the milestones and the goals which you can have as a biotech or life science fresher so that you can succeed in your life you see we all when we pass out have lot of energy right and that energy it's like a ship full of diesel so you know it has a lot of energy right but if the ship keeps going round and round one day the diesel the fuel will be over and the ship will be nowhere right so basically as a fresher i don't want you to just cover more distance but i want you to grow and capture more displacement and that is why today in this video we will talk about benchmarks safeguards milestones and goal let's start with the goal now why you should have a goal obviously because if you are not growing in your career then you will probably have 10 years of experience but still financially you are not free you are still dependent or you are earning less and you cannot leave the family which obviously you have to do in the future so you mean you need to have a goal and that can be either a financial goal or a professional goal say say that you want to become a chief scientist or a senior scientist okay so that can be a um, professional goal the financial goal will accompany it that okay you should be earning these many dollars or uh, rupees or whatever currency you are in okay now that's a goal now what are the milestones you have to uh, achieve to get to that goal that you have to write it down okay and so okay now, now my goal is to become a chief scientist or a senior scientist what are the things i will need to get there right whether it is educational proficiency whether it is technical proficiency whether it is soft skills proficiency whether it is uh, laboratory skills whether it is networking so all this becomes a milestone that these are the things which i have to do now comes the benchmarks benchmarks is like did i achieve this milestone within this tenure okay for example you are trying for a job and you kept trying 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 for 7 months 8 months 1 year you're not getting it right there must be something wrong in my recipe correct that is why i'm not getting to my destination so that is the safeguard so we need to have a safeguard and benchmark that okay so uh, the benchmark is i should have 100 connections with various scientists in the biotech industry or the life science industry in the next two months time so now that is the benchmark are you getting there so when you time bound the milestones with a particular uh, you know duration then that becomes the benchmark that's a minimum you have to achieve in this uh, tenure and then comes the safeguard now safeguard is like a safety you know mental safety like okay uh, you know i i met a girl so she waited too long to get her first job right now she was a fresher and not just a fresher but a fresher with a career break right because if you are waiting for 3 years to get your first job then it is not called as a fresher it's called a career break right because after your ed education you could not you know pursue so that is where i am going to tell you now a few keywords which you have to keep in mind the first is technical proficiency so this can this can be the milestone and obviously you will achieve this during your uh, you know educational years or probably during your first or second job so this can be basically molecular biology uh, genetic engineering or bioprocess uh, engineering or related fields based on your area of interest the second would be laboratory skills now again this is a milestone which has to be time bound that okay within these many months or years i should learn it so it can be proficiency in the lab um, techniques like uh, pcr uh, gel electrophoresis culturing techniques data analysis so all this will be your laboratory skills next will be the research methodology so this is something which is not taught anywhere we do have a course on that you can always go for that so knowledge of experimental design hypothesis testing and statistical analysis all of this comes under the research methodology which you have to learn next will be the regulatory compliance now biotech and life science industry is 
all dependent on SOPs. Okay. Now, if you are not following the good manufacturing practices, the employer will, will throw you out. So understanding the regulatory compliance, familiarity with the regulatory environment, governing the biotech research and products is very, very important whether you are in F&D or R&D. Next will be the technical adaptability. That will be keeping up to date with the latest um, tools and techniques in biotech such as CRISPR, bioinformatics, and various softwares which we use, maybe Excel or PowerPoint also, right? Then obviously interdisciplinary collaboration you have to learn. And this comes with, you know, by the time you have, you have you are into your, uh, you know, third or fourth year in your job, or maybe in your third or fourth job, you learn this, wherein you connect two unseemingly unrelated dots together, okay? To, so the other day I was talking to a biotech fresher and I told her very clearly that when you stand at the boundaries of arts, science and commerce, that is how you will succeed financially, professionally and then only you will be safe beyond your uh, career, right? So that is where you have to know that when you connect two dots, for example, Apple was a company which connected two dots. That why there has to be too many buttons on the phone, and why can't we just swipe, you know, touch the phone instead of, you know, pressing a button like a remote control? And you have the iPhone, and the entire industry got revolutionized. Same way, interdisciplinary collaboration, where biology has not got a boundary, where chemistry cannot begin. When biology, chemistry, and computer science comes together that is where you have to stand and that is where you will succeed. So these are the six milestones you need to have. Let me repeat again, technical proficiency, laboratory skills, research methodology, regulatory compliance, technical adaptability and interdisciplinary collaborations. These are the six milestones you have to achieve. Then you have to have the continuous learning and development which has to be there because you know, 10 years ago, what was a burning technique is today outdated. 10 years from today, CRISPR and NGS will be outdated. There will be something else, right? So you have to continuously attend workshops, seminars, continue your education. It can be certifications. It can be um, internships. It, it can be online training, offline training. It can be attending conferences online or offline. This helps you. Now, I told about networking. You you, you see, uh, I whenever I go somewhere, I always, uh, you know, get visiting cards from people. And what I do is I'll digitize it. I'll send a mail, say hi, or maybe say hi in WhatsApp. So I'm networking with them, right? When I network with them, they know me, I know them. So if ever there is any opportunity which comes up, they will remember me. And that is called as marketing. Remember, you are yourself a brand. You are not a fresher. You are a brand. And the brand must be told to people that you are capable of doing these things. So you you have to network, advertise yourself as much as possible and that is where LinkedIn comes into picture. Just yesterday I was training our students in our WhatsApp group on how to use LinkedIn for networking and how to use AI in LinkedIn and they were very happy. Probably you can also become a part of our WhatsApp group and we'll help you there. Now coming to the last part, the uh, personal attributes which will help you. See, you work anywhere in this world, you have to work as a team. Okay. Even the Nobel Prize winners, the face will be the Nobel Prize winner, but behind them will be a team of scientists, right? So you have to learn how to work as a team. You have to learn critical thinking, out of the box thinking. Think the unthinkable. Think the things which has never been thought earlier, right? You see the Wright brothers thought about flying because they, nobody ever thought that, okay, is it practically possible? People thought it is fantasy. So what is fantasy today is what is science fiction today is going to be the reality of tomorrow. You know, if you're a fan of science fiction movies, think about it. How can I implement this in our real life? And today, a lot of new things are coming up, right? So you have to be resilient. You have to adapt. You have to uh, learn how to uh, adapt to this new business environment, new um, technique environment, new employability environment and keep moving forward. Benchmarks will help you achieve your milestones. Safeguards will keep you safe from disasters and goals will keep you focused. And that is what I want all of you to do. Now, one last thing, if you are finding it difficult to get all of this streamlined, then you can always talk to me. 
I am open in between one o'clock to four o'clock to any Biotechnica subscriber who is in who wants to come and visit me in Bangalore. You are most welcome. You can come and meet me, and I'll guide you personally. I'll mentor you personally. If you cannot come down, you can always write a mail to Shekhar at Biotechnica.org. Most of the emails I reply if I get time, but if I find it are irrelevant, I may not reply. But yeah, if you are to the point, if you have a question, I'll definitely reply to you. And if you are a Biotechnica enrolled student, then you have my WhatsApp number. You can directly chat with me or talk to me on a video call. So these are the things which um, I offer at Biotechnica because I am super passionate about every professional out there. I firmly believe that today's student is tomorrow's scientist and tomorrow's scientist is day after tomorrow's Nobel Prize winner. So with these thoughts, I would like, like to end this video. Let me know in the comment section, how was this video? If you, have, if you have any questions, comments or any feedback or anything you would like to share, do that right below. Thank you. Bye-bye.